I'm sitting here. This is a, a hole that elephants have dug trying to find water. But uh, the water's a long way down now. And it doesn't look like they found any. So last night, which was chilly, for some reason last night was extra chilly. And um, I was just changing, it was dusk, and I was just changing from my day camera to night camera, changing tripods, putting up lights. It's a bit of a rigmarole. I was busy doing that, and I heard Impala snorting to the north. I was on the river, so it was about half a kilometer north of me. So I went up there, and I saw the herd of Impala, and they all ran away, but there was one male that stayed behind. And he was shouting and looking to the right. And there I saw two jackals taking on a female impala. And they'd already bitten her ear and was bleeding badly and, and on her bum. And the two of them were working together, one at the front, one at the back, and going for her. And it was, it was pretty gruesome. And, you know, if you, if you aren't into anything gruesome, please don't watch this. Don't watch any further. But it's interesting to watch it to the end to actually see what happens. And I was in two minds as to whether I should actually film this or not, because it is so hot. It's not nice to watch and, you know, it, it gets into your stomach and I, I wasn't feeling good about it. And often with these things you wonder, should you film them or shouldn't you? And anyway, so I decided I would film it and this went on for ages. It went on into the night and for six hours these jackals would badger her and then go and lie up and rest for a while and come back and hassle her, hassle her, bite her, bite her. And she would just keep butting them away. Um, <clears throat> and eventually, um, she was standing there and it seemed like the jackal had moved off. I heard them calling and they were quite a ways off. And she stood there for about an hour and a half. She didn't move. Her legs didn't move at all. Just her head moved a little bit from side to side. And after about an hour and a half, I was watching in the moonlight. The moon is half full, so it's quite a bit of light. And the next thing, it was as if somebody had slapped her on her backside. She just took off, and she was gone. And I, I tried to follow. I couldn't find anything. There was no sign of her. There was no sign of jackals. So I waited in the area, and I waited. Then I heard impala snorting. So I went over there. And I found a lion and a lioness, and they were hunting in Pala. So I followed them for a while. I thought maybe they might be on the trail of this, of the, this injured one because she was bleeding quite a bit. And I followed them, and they carried on north, and eventually I lost them in the Mopani. Then I came back into the area, and I just waited there for the rest of the night. And there was no sign of anything, and she obviously got away. And so... Yes, it was worth filming it because it had a happy ending and she, she got away. Unfortunately, I didn't get her sprinting off because I'd been waiting for over an hour and a half and I couldn't have the camera on and everything just waiting, waiting like that. So I missed that little bit, but I know she got away and she's fine. Um, and yeah, I think it was, became too much for the jackals. They called for reinforcements, but nobody came. And uh, then Paula got lucky, and uh, maybe she will survive, but she is in a bad way anyway because of her condition. She's got mange. If you look on her side, she's full of mange. So maybe um, she's going to succumb anyway sometime, but for now she got away. Lucky Impala. <laughs>